Don't have sex till you're married. Go Cougars. To share with us one last set of words before we start to issue diplomas, we'd like to call to the stage a person I've come to uh, enjoy seeing every morning with a friendly face and a smile and trying to make the school a better place, Louise Biddy. I, I got it. For, for, for the speech, you can go down. Let this last stop. Parents, teachers, and class of 2007. My name is Luis Biddy, and I'm proud to say that I'm part of Dakota's graduating class of 2007. If you've ever been to a commencement, you've all heard this speech before. The one where the speaker talks about how graduation is a milestone, and how it marks the transition from simple high school life to the liberating prospect of adulthood. I could stand here and repeat every word that you've heard before about how graduation is the true beginning of our lives and about how all of us are going our separate ways. But instead, I'd like to share an experience with you about my life and where I come from. Although we all stem from many different branches, we're all part of the same tree. All of us have life stories. Here's mine. I hope you can open your mind and ears and listen very carefully to what I have to say. I was born in Mosul, a city located in northern Iraq. I lived in a small village called Tilkef, but my parents and their seven children came here to America when I was a child. They saw the conditions of the world around them and they witnessed what was happening to other members of my extended family. My mother and father knew that if we would have stayed in Iraq longer, life would be reduced to a daily struggle to survive the turmoil and confusion of war. In Iraq, violence intensifies constantly as a mix of religions and politics continue to clash. My family fled the country for many reasons, including the desire to escape religious persecution. For thousands of years, my people have lived in the area now known as Iraq, and yet my family still felt it was time to move to this nation, just as many other immigrants have done for over 400 years. I was born in a country where you have to constantly look over your shoulder on your way to school. And when you get there, you're expected to stay in line if you want to peacefully make it through the day. But unfortunately, sometimes children don't even make it back home. Since I came here as a child, I was able to start school normally and go through the American education system. All of this is a result of my parents' commitment and love for their family. Here we're safe. We wake up, get changed, go to school, go through our classes, and leave. We've all been blessed to be able to obtain the education that we have and will receive. Being at Dakota is merely a small result of the greatest sacrifice of leaving my country and coming to America. I've been at Dakota since my sophomore year, and it's been an incredible journey. From classroom lessons, clubs, dances, pep rallies, games, and everything in between, you can see that Dakota welcomes people of all ethnicities on a multitude of levels. From all the situations I've seen involving conflicts between people of different backgrounds, I've learned that the decision to choose the ignorance of a fist over the acceptance of a handshake is a mistake. The world needs diversity in order to flourish, and with the acceptance of other cultures and ways of life, prosperity can be achieved. Live your life your way. But in order to make the best choices for yourself, you'll have to look at the mistakes of the ones who came before you. So you can work to eliminate the chances of you making those same mistakes. Use that knowledge to gain a new appreciation for life so it can be lived to the fullest. Wisdom is the result of experience. No matter how many books you've read or classes you've taken, true wisdom is the result of acknowledging that we all make mistakes, but we also possess the ability to correct our wrongdoings and forgive others. Class of 2007, from this point forward, we need to continually strive to better ourselves while honoring our values, even in the face of adversity. If we choose to ignore the gifts and opportunities given to, given to us from the ones who came before us, then we'll be throwing away opportunities that those less fortunate may never receive. 
Education is the basis of our existence, our foundation. Without it, we would limit ourselves. But with it, we're limitless. Thank you. Thank you, Luis.